Episode 1. Today's my feet. <laughs> Stop. Your <Beautiful> full feet. <laughs> It's the end of the year and we usually in Japan clean everything. It's just how people in Japan prepare for the new year. But I feel like it's like that everywhere. We're gonna keep our Christmas tree up until after the new year because that's what we do back home. Let's document our cleanup session because this place is a mess. The windows closed, the fear and doubt. I stopped and turned, trying to find out. There might be something I forgot. You a lot, a lot. Seven days of eternity, seven days in another country. Every cell screams, stay right here, and my legs they freeze us in fear. As you can tell, my bears are helping me build the desk and they're doing a great, great job. And that was how we ended 2019. Just kidding. This year marks the first year celebrating New Year together in Japan. We've talked about this moment for so long and I didn't think it would come soon enough. I decided to film on my phone because it's cold and I didn't want to carry my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna just make do with this, but we're heading to the shrine. It's so quiet. You can hear the bell ringing. Yeah. Yuji hasn't been here in 10 years. <laughs> nine years. So, nine years of no New Year's in Japan. It's so crazy. I hear bells. I know, right? We both got great fortunes and rang in the New Year with a kiss, as Americans do on this day. Sorry, Japan. I had to. And the next day, bright and early, we were on the way to meet Yuji's family in Toyama, Japan. We are at Tokyo Station right now. And Yuji's getting some souvenirs for his friend. I couldn't really film on the way here because we have so much stuff that we're carrying. To say I was nervous was an understatement. Kelly's very nervous and can't stop talking. It's okay. But I thought of this as a new chapter in our lives. A move forward, a new adventure for us. A zillion things went through my head. Will they like me? Will I say something dumb in Japanese? Will I seem rude or extra foreign? Let's face it, meeting the parents who belong to a totally different culture is much more nerve-wracking than if you were to meet parents from your own culture. But to see where Duji came from and grew up filled my heart with something bigger than myself, and I couldn't explain it. <laughs> so cool! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
How's it going, Yuji? It's good. Good? It's raining a little bit. <laughs> Kinda. After meeting Yuji's parents at the station, they took us to Shirakawago, a place I only dreamed of going. I've seen it in pictures, but never have I stepped foot into the village myself. The historic village of Shirakawago dates back to 1176. Artifacts were found dating back between 7000 BC and 2300 BC. Did you get it? <laughs> this one? Yeah, okay. There are tons of shops and restaurants here, more than I anticipated actually. We didn't get to visit them all, but I highly recommend checking them out if you can. What? Look, we can do a puzzle. <laughs> Yuji, you've changed. <laughs> Despite this place attracting tourists from all over the globe, it had a magical aura, a sense of peace, and a mysterious energy. Whoa, look at all the tools they used. Whenever I explore places like this, I feel like something is calling my name. It's quite strange, actually. But then I look at my fiancé and I think, wow, what a beautiful place he comes from. It makes me fall deeper in love with him. Can we sit? Oh, look! It's from Spirited Away. We're in, oh my god, it's so smoky in here. Shirakawago right now, and it's so cold, but it's so cool, and it's so worth seeing. And Yuji is like having a good time taking a ton of photos, but it's so pretty here. <laughs> At this point, I felt a little more relaxed, but my shyness made me frantically search for Japanese conversation. I realized quickly how much I forgot since becoming an English teacher the downside of being a teacher in Japan. We headed home earlier than expected because of the rain and cold, but not before we took some photos. This house reminded me of my homestay when I was in Japan at 17 years old. My host sister lived in a beautiful house and I had a beautiful room with a heated carpet and a stove. It was so surreal, I felt like I was reliving everything. Room. I'm in Ryuji's room right now. <laughs> I've been such a nervous wreck today so it's really hard to film. <laughs> okay. He's it gonna looks show very me... different. This room looks very different. Yes. Everything has changed. Oh my goodness, Ryuji san. Ryuji san. Hi. Daisuki. Love you too. Ryuji san, are you gonna show me your baby pictures? Yes. I like how you're so willing to do this. Um, I think I look really ugly and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh, your mom looks so young. Yeah. Holy crap, your mom looks like she's like junior high school. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the ginger that we passed by. Shrine. Oh my god. Hey, I was a burrito once. <laughs> <laughs> you were once a burrito? Yes, I was. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that you? Yes. What? You're so chubby. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, look at you. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> baby. I like this one. You are the chubbiest baby. It's yeah. so cute. Your mom really documented things. That's good. A lot of parents don't. Is that you? Yeah. You're so cute. Yeah, we, we made a house. <laughs> oh my goodness. How old were you? You're one? 
One. I wasn't six, born yet. Yeah, I know. Holy shit. Ryuji's parents documented his life growing up, as did my parents. We shared different childhoods, but similar family values. My parents documented our lives through both video and photos, and to me, that shows how much parents care about their children growing up. It's very attractive to me knowing that someone I love isn't shy to express that, too. So in Japan, oh, this is mine. This is mine. they have yearbooks like us. Whoa, that's a nice book. That's me. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, Yuji. Oh my goodness, it's you. The elementary, oh there's like exchange students and stuff, that's cool. This is Yuji's English page. Is this in junior high? High school. high school. Oh, it's high school. The bad point about school is that adults tend to force us to study. It's kind of true, you guys have abusive schools here in Japan sometimes. <laughs> I appreciate education because it is good for us, but I don't want them to force us to study because it sometimes decreases our drive. It's true though. Drive for studying, especially when we are very young. I think they only have to support and guide us. Yuji's dream was to become Superman. I don't, also, I don't know if I'm marrying the right guy right now. <laughs> and I also say, I want 9 million kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Yuji, but this is a very unrealistic relationship. I think we need to break up. <laughs> hey, no, no. <laughs> you want to have 9 million kids? 10 years from now. <laughs> Am I gonna be married or not? It says question mark. I put the question mark. Someone that has a beautiful smile. Oh, so sweet. Yes, I wanted to be a uh, become big person <laughs> in the future, <laughs> and I wanna live a life that has no that, that I don't have any regrets. Thank you very much. Yuji can kick somebody's ass. Where are you? Is that you? I'm here. Oh well. I didn't have a black belt this time because I think it was like a second year of junior house. It's so weird to me that nobody smiles in their pictures. Like in our schools, they will not give us a photo if we don't smile. I think if you smile, they're gonna say, "Don't smile." Why? I'm serious. I don't know. It's just how it is. I guess school's serious business. <laughs> it looks like really sad. It looks like like a mug shot. Everybody has a mug shot. This is Yuji's living room. These are my feet. Yuji wants to have 9 million babies. <laughs> so, I have to fulfill the prophecy. <laughs> I like this. It's so soft. <laughs> I like Japanese houses. <laughs> <笑>あ、肉、肉、肉冷えるから食べようよ。肉食べよう。肉。これで切れんけ。あ、無理。What are we about to witness? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Yuji thought zebras were tigers when he was two. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Look so bad right now. No, you don't. <laughs> How was the dinner? I'm in Yuji's room. Yes. <laughs> Good. It was so good. Your mom is so nice, and so is your mm -hmm. dad. But I realized how bad my English or Japanese has gotten, and it just makes me sad. Hey, your Japanese was good. No, not. I just can say one word things now. I used to be Baby, very good. You are fine. You did a good job. <laughs> They like you so much. Aw, good. Now we are going to rest. Yes, Yuji's gonna take a bath. Yes. And then I'm gonna sleep. Yuji's yes. mom got really drunk. Yes, she had like three or four cans of beer. She so. was like inhaling it. The water. 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I was shocked. She just poured her drink. <laughs> I know. She was nervous and she was also happy too. So, good yeah. to see you. All right, we're gonna rest, and yeah. tomorrow we're gonna explore, and we're gonna go to our grandma's house. Yay! So, day two, Toyama. Day two. <laughs> Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the premiere of season 2 Girl Abroad. Give this video a share, a like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you in part 2 of my trip to Toyama, Japan.